In today's video we are going to try and make this truck disappear to the visible eye as well as the infrared camera. Can we do it? So the plan is to confuse our camera. So we're going to change the shape of the truck so it doesn't look like a truck should look. We're going to change the size. In this case we're going to make it look bigger. We're going to distort the shadow on the ground so if you can see the shadow it wouldn't look like a truck's shadow. We're going to change the silhouette so if you're looking at it side on, again it doesn't look like a truck should look. And finally we're going to try and play with the IR signature so it doesn't give that strong truck IR. So here is our truck in position. We're not going to move the truck, we're going to leave it there. You can see that it really does stick out amongst the trees. So we've got to try and break this, break the shape and make it not as clear to see. On IR, a very, very strong return. Looking at it from top down, again, really easy to see. And on IR, it's probably the easiest kind of view to spot the truck from. This is what we've got to work with. One last view of the truck is a sideways moving left to right camera. Once more, you can pick up the truck very, very clearly. There's no other traffic around, so it's very easy to see. This is what we're gonna try and make invisible. So we're not gonna use any caminets or anything. All we're gonna do is use the trees around us. And just so you know, all of these trees have already fallen and we're not actually cutting or tearing down any trees. So we're just using what we have around us. So here we are out in the heath, now trying to break the shape of the vehicle and try and trick the IR camera to think that it's maybe something that it's not. So breaking the shape and try and disrupt that IR return a little bit. I'm gonna be honest, it wasn't easy. It's, it starts to take shape now because we're using just what we can find. It was quite scarce, so we would have liked to have done a, a better job but like I say, we were just using what we had. So here we have the finished article. So if we could have found a few more larger branches, we would have spent a little bit more time on top of the vehicle. As you can see, it's not overly camouflaged, but is it enough to deter a drone? We're good to go. We're gonna take the drone up now, see if we can see it visibly, see if we can see it with IR. So let's get the drone airborne. Okay, the first sweep we're gonna do is a left to right sweep and I believe the truck is a lot harder to see. It's in the center of the frame now, but a lot harder to see. So let's just zoom in on that. There you go, there it is. A lot harder than it was before. Let's have a look at the before and after photos. Left one before, clear as day. Right one, a lot harder to see. Now let's look at top down. Not as good, but we did say we didn't spend as much time on the top so we could find the branches. We have a little bit. It has distorted the shape and size a tiny bit, but not as good. So now we're going to look at the IR camera and as we sweep left to right you can see the truck is so difficult to now see. Before and after shots absolutely confirm this. So top down we weren't expecting to see big things because we hadn't spent lots of time on it and you can still pick out some things down there. But again the before and after, there is slight improvement. So that's the end of the video team and it goes to show that you can hide a truck from both visible and IR cameras and we did that in just an hour so imagine if you had a bit more time what you could actually do. Guys we have a massive video coming up hopefully in the next month and it involves a manhunt with a little bit of a twist. It's going to be great fun to watch. I'm looking forward to putting it together. If you're interested in that and you're interested in the videos that we're doing please subscribe to our channel and while you're at it like this video. Guys I will see you on the next one.